Hello my soccer universe, welcome to, to the Iberian review, which a uh, little bit like the one for France and the Netherlands, it will be a bit shorter because I honestly saw only highlights of the big three in Spain and not that much else. Side to wear Valencia, because actually Valencia enjoying a good start uh, for a change and maybe there is some life in them. Uh, they are a little bit transformed on the borderless, so uh, hence I decided to get them. Um, it's not true that I didn't so much. I saw actually a little bit of Mallorca against Espanyol, uh, where Mallorca, I saw the first half uh, of, of that where Mallorca scored the winning goal, Espanyol still not having scored. Uh, Mallorca though with the second win and I think they were largely the better better team and deserved that one. As I said, Valencia 3-0 over Alaves. Um, I think Alaves will be probably among the um, relegated sides. Uh, Bilbao 1-0 over um, uh, Celta. Elche and Sevilla only a 1-1, that was a surprise. Real Sociedad again with just uh, eking out wins. I have a feeling that uh, not having seen much, but La Real is not actually yet in the full-on mode. But I think it could all, also because Oya Sabal and some others have played so many games, so they need to find the ridden there. Uh, ridden finding is also something for Real Madrid in many ways because um, they have been conceding so many goals. Well, this time they did not, although at the end it looked a little bit shaky. Um, but I think overall it was a very positive second half performance where Carvajal gives them the, the goal. Um, and as we'll see, that puts them top of the table as well with the help of uh, Atleti's uh, result. Barcelona had more trouble than you would expect from uh, a Getafe side that is also a little bit in transition. I mean, they took the lead um, through, uh, I think it was Sergio Roberto, uh, um, swiftly got the equalizer in Memphis again with a wonderful uh, winner. However, in the second half, it just doesn't look quite right yet. We had this one really positive showing at the beginning of the season, very much like the last season. Um, and since then it's kind of so and so and yeah, um, I think if there's an opposition that is a little bit more rigid uh, at the back, Barcelona is still having major troubles in there. Griezmann not showing much, uh, so you know, there are still question marks over Barcelona. Would have loved to see that one. Cadiz was actually leading, as far as I know, 2-1. Uh, into stoppage time and then also Sona scores twice to uh, get the win so uh, that was a rather uh, huge result for, uh, for, 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 for them, it must have been an exciting game, as I said, unfortunately I didn't see much. Rayo gets a first win, 4-0 and I think they also have not played in all their major jerseys. Uh, so yeah, and I, I really love the Rayo set this season. And Atletico Madrid should have won easily over Villarreal. Uh, it was very much uh, similar to what Lask did this weekend. Um, dominated the game, playing left, right. Um, just cannot convert their chances. Uh, and then Villarreal takes twice twice the lead. I mean, uh, first time around, uh, Luis Suarez can e equalize. And a horrible defensive error. Uh, I think it was down to Jimenez. Gives Villarreal the lead and it seems like they can hang on to a very unlikely win with two shots on goal. They scored two goals and then they score a third one. However, it's an own goal. I mean, it was a wide ball that I think the goalkeeper wants to take and the defender wants to head towards the goalkeeper. The problem is that the goalkeeper is completely out of position, out of goal and the defender heads right into goal. I mean, it was a freak on goal uh, of the highest order. Um, and with that, Atletico cannot go back on top, however, they are still very much up top. It's Real Madrid now, but we have so many teams with seven, with seven points that, you know, goal difference is maybe not the best way to separate those out. Um, we have some worrying starts, I think, for Celta, Getafe and Alaves already. So, uh, those are teams that seem early a little bit in danger, however, Let's straighten it out, kind of see with the Ray ratings, how is it expected? And I'm a little bit surprised that Barcelona are still the favorites. It's probably because the others are dropping points. Uh, Real Madrid, maybe, we have to see uh, where it may go uh, with Real Madrid. I would actually say the top three here, I would in a way reverse them. I think Atleti seems to have the strongest squad at, at, at the moment. Um, but you know, 
Maybe Real Madrid can pull off. I mean, I talked to my friends, we, we believe it, but what do they think for Mbappé? Uh, quick breakdown. I think uh, two reasons why they were now chasing Mbappé so much. A, uh, to kind of show the rest, the rest of all he's ours. And B, yes, they will play after the break in the Bernabeu. And I think it would be nice for Florentino to present a new star uh, in this shiny new temple that he constructed. Um, quickly on the bottom we have Alaves, Elche and Cadiz at the moment. So uh, let's that's where it is uh, right now and after the break we have actually two postponed games. I don't know really the reason but Sevilla Barcelona that a little bit hurts because that will be interesting uh, to see. Atleti has to play at Espanyol. Can they finally score goals? Because I actually thought Espanyol will be a side that will be kind of be safe throughout the season. Seemingly not quite yet. Um, and we have Real Madrid play against Celta, Celta Vigo. In, at the Bernabeu, as far as I hear, we have also an Andalusian dog between Granada and Betis. So uh, that might be interesting uh, to watch too. Portugal, yeah, the big game that I so promoted. This is the big rival between Braga and Guimaraes ends in a nil-nil. Um, Porto, I at least saw a little bit of that. Uh, three nil over Aruca, also not having too many troubles there. We have Sporting dropping points at Famalicao and Benfica ke keeping on winning, which means that now Benfica, after four rounds, top of the table, I said four rounds. Sporting, Porto right behind, uh, so all the big boys up there. As usual in Portugal, there are many changes. Also in the expected standings, what I keep saying, what really um, uh, fascinates me, how dense after the top three, four, how dense the Portuguese league is that everyone can kind of get uh, involved into, releg in the, in, into relegation battle. Or if they do well, they even can make it into Europe, uh, but only qualifying around so far. So yeah, um, you see here again, it's at the moment Benfica, Porto and Sporting, but lots still to be played. I don't have yet a fixed schedule for the next round, uh, so cannot tell you much there. But I don't think we'll get a really big game. Uh, just have me a quick check. So uh, the games we have Santa Clara against Benfica, the derby of the same logos more or less. Ah, oh, we get a very big one, Sporting Porto. So um, that is one to definitely look forward to. That's the first big test and yeah. I probably will make even effort to watch this live if it's played at a time that doesn't conflict with my other games, but at least I hope that I will watch some good highlights. So yeah, that was it from the Iberian Peninsula uh, for me for uh, this week. We now go into the international break. Uh, we also have deadline day today, but you know, I'm never in much into that because uh, it, there is rarely a big transfer coming on the last day of the, of, of, of the season. So I will actually transition now slowly into the uh, international break and I will tell you what games are coming come up because you should care about the international game as well because there is some fun to it. Okay, in any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, drop a line below what you thought about the happenings that I talked talk about in this video or if that you want to add more. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!